Hello folks, it's Jonathan from Carousel Direct. Um, I'm here today because due to popular demand we've had loads and loads of letters from various people about one thing and it's moths. Now when I made this movie two and a half years ago we had a very very strong moth infestation in this country, it was horrendous. And it's now not horrendous, it's got worse, it's a pandemic. So. I felt it timely to make a new movie for you just to explain how it's changed, how the problem's changed, and I'll, I'll attempt to answer some of these popular questions that we've been asked um, to do um, from various people who've really taken time, and thank you very much for that, folks, to have written in and asked me questions. So I'll go through the first one. Uh, Dear Jonathan, we've got a problem of moths, it doesn't seem to ever go away. How do we tell the difference between a natural moth repellent and a chemically based moth repellent and what is it? Uh, signed Janice. Right, Janice, the answer is very simple. A chemical based moth repellent is like an antibiotic. It's something that is much stronger for the problem than the natural solution. The natural solution is something um, like you know, a vitamin pill that you go down to the local vitamin store to buy. And to give you an example of the difference, this Orphea that we sell is a natural solution, so there's no chemicals in it whatsoever. And this is the natural Orphea spray, which we use, you know, we recommend people use on carpets, um, in their wardrobes and so forth. So the difference between the natural and the chemical will soon become apparent, because these are natural and they smell gorgeous, but Generally, sometimes the natural solutions often don't cure the problem if it gets worse and you need a bit of a stronger shot in the arm, like a kind of antibiotic. So that is when you move on to the, the stronger products, which are ones, for example, like the Akana Hanging um, Moth Killer and Freshener. These actually have the name on the packaging killer. These have a chemical basis in them. This one, for example, is a hanging Akana moth killer you put in your wardrobe. This one is a sachet that you put in the drawers and in pockets of your clothes and it keeps the moths at bay. And because moths like to breed in damp conditions, we've persuaded Akana to now produce a new one which is basically the hanging moisture absorber by Akana. So it's all the same brand, apart from the hanging moisture absorber, these are all chemical based solutions. Now just to give you an example, if the problem gets so bad and you've got moths everywhere and you cannot cope, fear not because we have the ultimate solution and this is like the SAS of moth deterrents of the chemical variety and that is the Akana moth trap. It's a pheromone moth trap, we do the refills for it as well and you just stick this on the back of a door, in your wardrobe, hang it up, whatever, and basically this attracts the female moths um, through a pheromone and it stops them from being able to lay their eggs, which sounds a bit cruel but basically if it's a choice between you and the moths taking holes out of your clothes, I think we know which one we will choose. So that's the difference um, between natural and uh, chemical solutions. Let me give you another question that we've been asked today. Uh, this one has come from Jeremy in North London. Jeremy has said, Dear Jonathan, what is th why do moths tend to congregate around the moisture areas in my wardrobe and what can I do to address this problem? Very simple, I've just alluded to it. Hanging moisture absorber, moths love to drink, moths like damp conditions, they like wardrobes where there's a bit of damp, put this in, that will solve the problem Jeremy. Um, anyone with a bit of damp in their wardrobe can get rid of it through a hanging moisture absorber from Akana. Um, next one we've got, which is a very popular question, very, very relevant to um, 2015, which is where we are now. Uh, this is from Stephen. Stephen lives in uh, Froome, near Merv, um, who's phot phot uh, photographing us today. Uh, Stephen says, Dear Jonathan, I have an extreme problem with moths. They have got, it has got worse. I started off using the Akana moth killer and it was fantastic. However, it only lasted well with Akana for about 18 months. The problem has got progressively worse. What would you recommend and is it something I'm doing? Um, as I said before, 
The natural moth solution that we offered in the form of the Akana is great. I really recommend it, but it's like a vitamin. It won't actually kill the problem if it hasn't done so already, and it will only be able to be used for 18 months, as this letter indicates. It won't go on indefinitely. So what we suggest is you blip it, and you blitz it rather, with an Akana hanging moth killer. Just put that in your wardrobe, roughly for every 12 items of hanging garments, put one of these, hang it in the wardrobe. If you want to double up on that problem, put in a sachet uh, moth killer and freshener. These ones are lavender, they're very, very nice, they smell really good. If you are looking for fragrant clothes and you want them smelling amazing, um, Orphia is the one, it really is good. But these literally kill the moths off, so that is a great solution. Um, another good solution as well, I really recommend this possibly, you should try this one. This is an airing cupboard moth killer. So a lot of people who store their clothes are having washed them, ironed them, done whatever. Um, I recommend putting this in your airing cupboard, just on the back of the door. It's got a self-adhesive strip, so you can just hang it on the back of the door. This is great. Um, it gives off an odour. You just literally leave it there and it will um, go down. As you can see, the fluid will go down. And, you know, it will basically stop the moths from hitting your airing cupboard too, so it will just keep them at bay. Right, Susanna writes, Dear Jonathan, I have read your moth book from cover to cover. Have we got a second generation copy coming out for 2015 in the not too distant future? Kindest regards, Susanna. Susanna, Jonathan's moth book, What's Eating You, has sold over 120,000 copies. It's still going strong. We've not changed it because it's so effective and people seem to like it. And if it goes really well like this, and it does have lots and lots of good stuff in it, um, I wouldn't recommend changing it. But what we are doing, we are going to be adding two additional chapters on the reprint version, which will be the fourth um, version of this. And it will be with some new stuff, which is leading edge, and it will help you particularly about the Akana range, how effective it is, how the best way to use it is, and various other things. So that will be coming out towards the summer, so please look out for that. But yes, we're keeping this one going. It really is doing well. Thank you. And thank you for everyone who's bought one and um, you know, read it and given your testimonials and comments. It's really, really good. Um, now, that is just a short resume of the problem we're having now in 2015 on moths. If you want independent advice on your moth issue, please feel free to ring 08000 199 309 and any one of five or six of our expert moth um, experts in Carousel Direct will attempt to assist you. We are really good on this. This is a specialist subject. We've got better and better. As the problem has got worse, we've got better at it. We've got better solutions. And please feel free just to ring in with any queries. And I really strongly recommend, if you haven't done so already, try the moth book if you have got a moth problem. If you have any further queries, having read it, again, feel free. We're very, very happy to um, advise you. And obviously, everything we do comes with a full money-back guarantee. You don't. We don't want you to be spending your money if you're not happy doing so. So basically that goes with the book as well. Um, so if you're not satisfied having read it, just send it back. We'll give you your money back. Thank you for listening. Please feel free to come and contact us online and um, keep buying the products. And good luck to solving your moth problems. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.